probably too severe. Skyline loop, difficult. This one. Give it a quick check. Elevator. Definitely easiest gear. A little bit of a steep one here. But then it does point down after the plateau at the top. Pointing down. That's it. Get the switchbacks to do. Taking it wide. All right. Got a nice flat ride now. This was cut away to make room for the railway track, which travelled from Port Talbot docks all the way up to Glen Corrug, Colliery. I'm uh, just going to climb up through the village of Abercraggan. So I'm actually following St. Ilted's walk. I've swapped the waterproof jacket for my Troy Lee jersey because it was getting really hot. This is quite a steep climb as well. Gets a bit more rideable. And about 15 minutes, I'm in a bit flatter. And now we go straight back up again. For another bit of climbing. Oh, we're up in the up in the trees now. Just found this coin, two pence coin. Yeah, that this was minted 1978. Righty. Do you know what? Mountain biking wasn't even a thing in 1978 in Britain. This is where I need to be. You now my trail etiquette has changed quite a lot. I don't just fire out a snot rocket because I know how disgusting it looks during a pandemic so this laser chiru it's a really nice helmet it's got the mips brain protection system so it slightly reduces rotational forces but it's not the lightest helmet but and the peak doesn't actually rotate upwards so this is quite a, a nice little thing that sort of shelter so it does get really windy up here so this, this little windbreaker has been uh, really helpful in stormy conditions. The bike, it'd be nice to get this on the descent now. So we're going to follow White's level, descent being windy point. Let's get on. Windy point, here we go. a bit dodgy that bit there. Always tend to go into it. You're looking to avoid it and 
you don't know where you look, the bike tends to go. I'm trying to just look at the trail. Just look at where my tyre is going. I forget about the sides. It's quite windy up here, that's one thing you notice straight away. Just the amount of wind blowing across. Why is the water in a bit as well, which is melting? Which is why I'm not going full pelt along here. Well, yeah, we're not doing an enduro race speeds today. But yeah, you can see the work that the volunteers have done on this section. Fantastic. But yeah, really good. So much more flowy and before and a lot of that water has been moved off just they've removed some of the fallen branches and that great Oh, the dog is lovely. That's fantastic. That's way better. I was so wet last time I was up there. You know, my feet would be sopping by now. Oh, my old chunky rock here. Lumpy here. And we're riding up here on the hardtail back in the summer on the on one parkwood. And I'm just getting knocked all over the place. The drops here, three in succession. Oh. 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 I'm glad a bit of spice in there. And remember, not quite this is back in 2014. And uh, I came down really heavy on the front wheel, and I realized I was just using the wrong technique I'm not putting my weight forward before pressing down on the fork so it's kind of lifting the bike and all sorts of weird stuff and they're designed very well on uh, this trail white's level Then we go through a nice woodland trail section here, slipping on the wood on the edge. I made that mistake before. Like, you start riding it too fast, and that the moisture is just causes it to be too slippery. Right, so, start of the flowy section. Choppy. Definitely want your fork as soft as you can get it without it blowing out, and uh, you can get away with 20 psi and so much rock. 
I'm quite impressed with the knobby neck. <sighs> Reincarnation of that, what was quite a unpopular tyre previously. It's got a bit of bite on it. Going around some of the rocky berms, didn't slide out. Yeah, that's it, it's the addicts. Watch this boardwalk because this uh, the chicken wire is worn away in the centre, so that's going to be slippery there. I can feel it slightly. A couple of drops coming up here. I'm going to take the larger one on the left. Right. Yeah. It's a good session that as well. Me and Sam, my son, we've pulled up there and filmed each other just to check our position on the bike when doing these drops that was years ago mine 2014 I remember we had a a year of sort of focusing in on doing drops if you're not used to doing drops and if you don't get your speed up that can be a bit iffy very carefully Fantastic. You know, because that isn't dropping. Uh, the views are, it's just absolutely. I uh, wish I lived over there, just somewhere nearby. Lemon drizzle. Let's have it. Nice bit of uh, fire road descent. Woo! So you just gotta really get your weight back. Like that. Oh, it was steady because it's so wet. Quite puddly it was last weekend and it it's actually rained a bit since then. Just following Sam down but he's working today. Oh, just noticed, actually. Ah, I didn't have my fork open. I checked the shock as well. <laughs> fork and shock, both locked. <laughs> and that's the thing, I'm so used to riding my gravel bike. Um, fully rigid. <laughs> Ain't a problem anymore. It's like, I'm just so used to feeling everything that goes on underneath the tire. Until it gets really gnarly like this and then you really do feel it now i'm uh, floating thanks to the uh, box 34 with the fit fall up damper whoop and you go the right here that's the line that sam took uh, which works let's give the lens a quick ride Very chundery here. Oh. oh, this is really quite muddy as well now. Way more muddier than last weekend. Oh. Wait. Sorry for the, the voice going off every two seconds, making weird noises. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Can't see over the, some of these drops. So, uh, oh. if you're not sure, stop and scope it out. I've ridden this a few times, it's descent. I'm still a little bit unsure which line to take on some of those drops. 
especially with it being so wet and muddy tyres are wet now and it's not like riding it in the summer now your grip levels are really high plus I've got the extra air pressure in the tyres which doesn't help for grip when the going gets like this pretty tough oh I wasn't sure about going right there but I did and it's too late so I've done it probably because I did it last weekend and you just sort of stick with it that's where Sam had his puncture just before that which is a bit iffy I think somebody must have ridden out here in the last couple of days with a boss from six wagon wheels which is all the way around White's level there's been empty wrappers of wagon wheels they must have come out with a box of six and they just dropped the litter enough said about that really oh, I need to keep my eyes peeled on this trail this is pretty uh, hectic here I would go right there oh. Oh. I nearly got pitched forward then hitting a square edge rock just before the switch back both me and Sam have had offies on there. Thanks for joining us on this ride. That was windy pot. No, it wasn't. Thanks for joining me on this ride, everyone. <laughs> that was White's level, solo, climbing up through Abercraggan. This is Amiga. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been sanitized since I last rode it. Seems a bit clearer. There, that's still a nasty drop there. Man. But yeah, there's not as much water on it. Looks like the uh, Avan Trail volunteers have worked on this as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because this was pretty uh, horrible last time I rode it. it was overgrown and that. Oh. Although the amount of leaves on it has been pretty sketchy under the tyres. I'm definitely not going to rail this today. Fastest I've done this, it's pretty slow compared to the quickest time that someone's done it. I think somebody did it in 17 seconds, which is incredible. But the fastest time I've done it in is 40. I thought I beat it once, I thought I got a 39. I even timed it on, on the YouTube video. But Strava rules over everything, doesn't it? <laughs> Not much of a burn, it's just after a steep little section there. When you're going fast, you don't even notice that tiny little climb. Whoop. There we go. I'm down up to the main path. Post. I need to cut a bit off the end of the hose. I did buy some reverb fluid to get the job done. See you on the next one. Lovely. Whoop.